ki khubor ka bate si tv lawan rashapi da ka frank motors booking open for the new nexon visit frank motors or call 7045207973 MIT University of Meghalaya our admissions are now open for the academic year 2024-25 explore our best courses experience global collaborations apply today Thank you Mr Speaker sir for allowing me to call the attention of the minister in charge power to a matter of urgent public importance under rule 541 of the rules of procedure and conduct of business to the news item published in Unong San Hima dated 30th January 2024 under the caption Bashabat boarding clan Unong apara ka MECL hajingking umyam. Please, uh, Mr. Spe Speaker, sir, to you, uh, I would like to call the attention of the minister concerned pertaining to the newspaper uh, report where one. Rishan Lang Mukti, age 25 years, security guard of MECL at Umyam Bridge, lost his life after a fatal electrocution in the wee hour of 28 of January 2024. And as per the newspaper reports, this unfortunate incident happened when at around 5:30 a.m. in the morning the diseased person went out to collect firewood near the transformer nearby and it is learned that this particular transformer belongs to ITD Cementation India Limited the company entrusted with the renovation work at Umyam Bridge. Uh, in fact, I call the attention of the minister in charge to seek clarification from this company, which the government had entrusted to undertake the renovation work at Umyam, where I feel that there is negligence on their part where they have not put up any safety measures or fencing which led to the, this unfortunate incident. And I will stress upon the minister to question the co company concern and to pay due compensation to the family of the diseased person. And at the same time, though this, hap this incident happened because of negligence of this ITD uh, Cementation India Limited Company, but then when you look at this incident, it happens every now and then. Uh, as may many of us if we happens to visit, especially in the far-flung areas and especially in the remote rural areas, we often find that uh, these transformers that is located in different nooks and corners of uh, the state, I find that many, they are there with no safety measures or no proper fencing, which many a times lead to many unfortunate incidents and loss of precious lives. 
So I will urge upon the minister to kindly look into this matter. And at the same time, I would also like to draw the attention of the minister concerned, where even in my constituency, I have received complaint and I have witnessed with my own eyes that there are many electric, uh, electric poles who are uh, corroded, rusted, and on the verge of collapse. And many a times, through the Rangbashnam and the citizen, they have apprised this problem to MECL, but it seems that they are not paying any attention to do the corrective measures so as to prevent any unfortunate incident. And one more thing I would like to point out from this incident is that just recently after this incident, there is also one incident which happened on the 14th of February 2023, where one elderly woman lost her life at, um, uh, at uh, Umran village because of uh, electrocution. And the main reason is because of this electric wire. I remember uh, in the past 15 to 20 years, I used to see that there are these cradle guards to protect this electric wire in case of any unfortunate incident. But nowadays, no such safety measures were being erected. So I will urge upon the minister to kindly look into the matter and uh, do bring corrective measures for the welfare and to protect the precious life of our citizens. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We need to charge to reply, please. Mr. Speaker, sir, at the very outset, I take this privilege to thank the honorable member from Maulai, Sri Bright Starwell Marbanya, for having tabled this very important issue through the calling attention notice under sub-rule 1 of rule 54 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in this August House, referring to the news item as published in the U Nongsen Hima, dated 30th January 2024, under the caption, Basa Bat Boarding, Klat U Nonga Paharaka MECL Hajinking Umiyam. Mr. Speaker, sir, on the 29th January 2024, a fatal electrical accident occurred at the property fence as at the properly fence distribution transformer at the substation located near the right bank downstream of the stage one Umiyam Dam, in which one person by the name of Sri Kirshan Borlang Mukti, a night guard working with MSITD Cementation India Limited, was elect electrocuted when he came in contact with live HD side of the distribution transformer after he entered into the substation premises. As I mentioned, sir, Sri K late Kirshan Borlang Mukti was not an employee of MECL. He was working as the security guard of the construction firm ITD Cementation India Limited, the firm which is interested for the dam rehabilitation and improvement work of Umiyam Estes Ward Dam, which is under progress. In this regard, a first information report was lost at the Maulai Police Station, Ishkashi Hills District, on the same day, that is the 29th January 2024, and the police report is awaited. In the meantime, the accident report dated 29th January 2024 was submitted to the Senior Electrical Inspector, Government of Meghalaya, Shillong, to conduct a thorough inquiry so that the actual reason for the accident can be ascertained. The Senior Electrical Inspector who conducted an inquiry in this regard with the Executive Engineer, Umiyam Dam, 
distribution division who is also holding the charge of the office of the assistant executive engineer umiam distribution subdivision the report of the senior electrical inspector concluded that the location of 11 by 440 kb 50 kva distribution transformer is at a nearby jungle which is far away from the residential area and is at safe distance from the gs road the above distribution substation has boundary fencing provided by iron mesh to prevent prevent unauthorized entry of persons or animals in the substation let's see kishan bolang mukti and his colleague were performing duty at the sentry post at umiam and it is it is learned that he came out of the sentry post without informing anyone or there was no direction from the said company to do so at around 4 am of 29 january 2024 on the fateful day sri kesar bonglang mukti was found lying in an unconscious condition inside the above mentioned distribution substation by the police who were performing duties at the dam found him in that condition who immediately informed the personnel of itd cementation india limited from the inquiry report it was ascertained that sri kishan bol kishan bolang mukti had performed duty at the sentry post umiam under the company itdc cementation limited and entered the sub station premises on his own by unauthorized means the actual cause of death we are here to be certain as we have not received uh, the police report and also the medical report the incident is very unfortunate and the power department besa base mcl express its sympathy to the near and dear of the late victim further sir mcl is pursuing on humanitarian ground with the itdc india limited that they should provide sufficient compensation from his em employees provident fund and insurance to the next kin of mr late mr mukti since he died while he was on duty even i personally also overseeing this and i can assure that within few days we will be able to provide the compensation to the next kin of the victim sir we will see that the family gets the compensation as per the entitlement was is what is provided for the electrician victim by mcl that can i can assure to you regarding the se second incident it is also same thing that the person one kong who came in touch with the live wire which was connected to a uh, this mobile tower but unfortunately when this uh, live wire was in touch with some banana leaves and other uh, uh, trees and all these things as all were uh, these were dry there was no tripping the pin failed and she came in contact we have already sent our uh, uh, senior electrical inspector to have a thorough inquiry the report we have got we are we have also filed an fir with the nearby police station the report is being awaited i understand the concern the honorable member from maulai has uh, put forwarded regarding the unfencing transformer i agree sir that many of places this is the situation and because of the paucity of fund mcl is not able to guard all the uh, uh, transformers but we are seriously thinking this one that at least which are in the close habitation should be properly fenced uh, so that nobody comes in close contact with the life transformer second thing regarding the rusted pole it is also in fact if uh, certain things are there even local dorbars headman they used to inform us and wherever the poles are available immediately we replace it 
and we are looking forward that in future we will be replacing all these poles as and where we found them. So with these few words, sir, I would throw you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, once again like to put on record of my heartiest thanks to the honorable member from Maulai for having brought this issue in front of this August House. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, now, honorable <coughs> uh, member, Vice Chairman Marbanya, you may seek one clarification if you need. Sir, so, Deputy Speaker, sir, I would like to thank the Minister in Charge Power for his uh, concern and elaborate uh, reply to the call attention put by me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Citizen first is our motto. We believe that our citizens need to be connected with government for faster and efficient service delivery. I am happy to announce that we are coming up with a dedicated CN Helpline call center. 